Contemplating Today's Gospel Liturgical Day, December 26th, Stephen, First Martyr The Gospel According to Matthew Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. Commentary by Father Josep Maria Massana, Barcelona, Spain They will hand you over to courts and scourge you. Today, just having savored the deep experience of the birth of the child Jesus, the liturgical scenery has changed over. We might think that celebrating martyrdom does not fit with the Christmas charm. The martyrdom of Saint Stephen, whom we revere as the first martyr of Christianity, falls squarely into the theology of the incarnate Son of God. Jesus came into this world to shed his blood for us. Stephen was the first who shed his blood for Jesus. We read in this gospel as Jesus himself announces it, they will hand you over to courts and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness. Precisely martyr means exactly this, witness. This witness in word and deed is given thanks to the force of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of your Father will speak through you. As we can read in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7, Stephen, brought to court, gives a superb lecture by making a tour through the Old Testament while showing that it all converges in the New Testament in the person of Jesus. Whatever had been announced by the prophets and taught by the patriarchs is fulfilled in him. In the narrative of his martyrdom, we can find a beautiful Trinitarian allusion. Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. His experience was like a taste of the glory in heaven. And Stephen died, as Jesus did, by forgiving those who sacrificed him. Lord, do not hold this sin against them, he said his master's words. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Let us ask this martyr to let us live like him, full of the Holy Spirit, so that, by fixing our gaze into heaven, we can see Jesus at the right hand of God. This experience will allow us to already enjoy heaven while we are still on earth.